Hello, Glitch Reaper here. I'm back for some more Undertale, actually, which is uh, nice. I was going to do something special, uh, namely, uh, go back and do some of the uh, last uh, few things in the game. Though it's been a while, but uh, sometimes. Ah, oh, man, I just can't escape how loud this game is. It's very difficult to do so. I thought I turned it down enough, but it's too loud, I apologize. Well, I suppose I might... Uh, I think I might be able to readjust this uh, a little bit more, but I'm not sure at what point it really is with my sound system. But, yeah, that still sounds way too loud to me. Let me, let me readjust a few things. Okay, let's see if that's doing it. Okay, so I'll try to reset this again just to see if it resets the... Okay, that sounds better. I think it's because my Steam likes blasting on my volume every time I start recording. No idea why. It's really annoying. But it doesn't. So, that is a problem. At least I can take care of some things. Okay, I think this route goes out quickly. At least enough. Yeah, here's the fast route down. There we go. Makes things so much easier. Ah, here's one of those special calls I was waiting for. Hey, uh, this is Undine. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Click. Let me see here. Do I have... Maybe not in this particular one. Just trying to see if this is the... Ah, there it is. Hush puppy. I need that for later. Maybe a little too far that way. Nope. Not your direction. Okay, okay, I do need the elevator. Let's see, where does this take me out? Nope, that's not where I needed to go. I think I needed L1. Okay, I think I'm getting there. There we are. Yeah, ride the boat. Where we'll go today? Snowed in, of course. They were off. Pit, pit, pit. The neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Yeah, I didn't do that with the lesser dog, but I was thinking of doing it, and then I totally forgot he was a one-time fight, so, yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's completely harmless regardless of how it looks. I'm thinking of doing another run sometime, and uh, showing that in a few quick clips for something special, so yeah. Are we getting some time? Prolo la Namely, an alternate ending. One of the few that I might actually go for, because although I'm always in for the true pacifist ending at heart, there's at least one other one that I consider maybe a good ending. How nice of you to check my mail for me! Wait, no. That's very strange. 
this mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much stuff. Uh, let me see. Is there anything I can use? Because I kind of maybe, maybe have a spot. One of my dimensional pockets. No, I do not. Um, okay. Well, kind of. Uh, perfectly fair. Um, I think. See. I, uh, yeah, I forgot I can't take stuff out unless I use something up. Well, I can use a glam burger. Just use this, just to use it. I'm gonna need a few healing items anyhow, but uh, I have plenty there. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Office. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got you got the Undine's letter. <laughs> Dean's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Do I have anything I could actually eat? Uh, I could sacrifice one of those for the good of doing this, but the letter will probably be used in the meantime, so I should be good. But yes. I'm going to very carefully go to Waterfall first to see if I can handle something along the way. Because they get you into a good spot to do something, so I think I'll do that first. Or you turn off the uh, secret with, uh, uh, with, uh, Oh yeah, with, with Sans House. But I've got another one very special that's kind of similar. Oh la, uh oh, suddenly, feeling tropical. Hmm, I don't see no palm trees down here. <laughs> it would be nice if there were palm trees, just saying. Then you could feel all the tropical you want. Come again sometime, tra la la. Yeah, river person, you need palm trees. You, you just need to feel the tropics. You don't need to be the tropics, you just need to feel them. See, was it this way or that way? I'm trying to remember where this stops off. Oh. It's been a little while, actually. Okay, that's the way to Timmy Village. Maybe my favorite save point, but I'm not going there today. it's an item that I actually uh, have as an item. I think it's on my keychain. Oh, it is. It is here. It, it, the, the mystery key is here. Okay, so that, that's a problem because it's now extra dimensional. Uh, I guess I can eat a legendary hero just to eat one out of my way. Uh, this is kind of weird. I'll, I do have some money, so I can buy more if I need them. Maybe reorganize my inventory, because I can only use so many boxes. It's going to be sad, but I'm going to have to, kind of. And this will empty out a box space. Especially after I use this key. Because... If you go over here, I believe Naps to look. Yeah, I keep saying the same thing. But previously, Naps to look said that his sister used to live over in this house. Well, I've got this key, and if I use it, we get to see the mystery of what happened with Naps to Blook's sister. Use the mystery key. The red house's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. 
it's kind of one use, but you get to save the fact that it's used, so it's good. You see all sorts of glamorous things around here, but you can't get past these books, at least not very easily, or without some possible cheat code or something. But you can clearly see a big emphasis on performance and media. Not the same as Napster Books, which is more into music, but we have TV and a big poster of uh, people dancing. So let's go into why this happened. If we read the journals, your diary, Shirin's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for, she's become more reclusive than ever. Garden lips. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blooky, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like the odd idea. Dear Diary. <laughs> kind of like after the Dear Diary. I like I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. And it's an interesting uh, collection. Not the weirdest I've ever seen. Dearest Diary. Our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. Yep, that's right. The very first uh, a dummy you ever encounter is also a ghost in a body. So... Yeah, it's like something some of the ghosts do. They like having a body, so yeah. That leaves just Blooky and I. Blooky asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal, too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blooky. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for, anyway. That's what she thought. My darling diary. I met someone. Interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. And she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Now this is, uh, Hapstablook meeting Dr. Alphys. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have, like, five now. <laughs> yeah. Dear Diary. We've recycled back to Dear. She surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blooky. My dreams can't wait for anyone. And this is the story of how Hapstablook became dun 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 Metaton EX oh Metaton first but the EX form later uh, it, it was a built in transformation so yeah that, that that works oh dear um I just remembered there's an item that uh, I might want from there that Hard to well. Uh, hard to ignore the usage of. Uh, okay. Well, let me put a few things in my inventory I might be willing to use up in exchange first, and swap that out. Hot cat. I want to try saving at least a couple of these legendary heroes. Okay, that might do for now. I'll be needing this. Uh, crab apple? Not so much. That will be different. Don't really need to use that much. I've got the Timmy armor. Timmy armor I just like so much more, so uh, I, I guess I could put the other thing in. A heart locket. Okay, so... Again, these crab apples are kind of expendable because you can just buy those. Uh, the hot cat just kind of makes dogs not like you, so <laughs> even though it's kind of r uh, rare, uh, I'm willing to let that one go, so, yeah. Uh, let's see, one more legendary hero in here. 
Okay, that should be almost good. Because I might need the stick. Because I believe next up might be the true lab. If I remember right. Because originally I was thinking it was the, uh, the uh, dating assistants, but I, it might be the true lab right up next. I don't think so. I think it act, I think it does go dating assistants first, then true lab. A lot. I heard spiders have a favorite food. It's spiders. Yeah, that's why I also have spider cider. <laughs> and I previously had a spider donut. Come again sometime for la la. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which one comes first, but both happen sequentially uh, right here. I might want to save first. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, no, no, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? Uh, no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I said. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Okay, so dating simulator first. <laughs> I was trying to remember which order it was. I thought it was this way, then I thought it was the other way, so I got a little confused. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Uh, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um... Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chances of a successful outcome to the date. <laughs> right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm unprepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in, anticipa in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got uh, some metal armor polish. <laughs> I just love that look. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some water cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, yeah, wrong species, Alpha. This is working. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Obviously, these things are all meant for Undine. Just go with it. Um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the day. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. <laughs> Poor Alphys. Um, do you like anime? Hmm. Yes. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is, always sounds like a horrible dating idea. <laughs> Here we are. This is where Undine and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, she's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, um, well... Oh no. 
Here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Have you at least seen her? Yes. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Uh, well, I, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, um, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, you know it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undine's the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. And not that you aren't, um, cool. But, but, Undine, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... You'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Uh, tell her the truth. The truth? If I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? With a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? I say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. Aw, poor Alice. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undine the tr 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 truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess up. How can I practice? <laughs> this is when there's literally, like, just one obvious answer. It's the one that literally says obviously. <laughs> Roleplay. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undine? Um, it would be very weird if she was trying to talk to Undine and she was Undine, so obviously this is another obvious answer. <laughs> Oh, right, obviously. Eh, hey. uh, him. Uh, hi, Undine. How are you doing today? My fun. Ah, uh, glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with, 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 with. I, 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 oh, forget it. Adine! I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and so strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always should do your best to make me feel special. Well, like to tell me that you'll, you'll beat up anyone that you get says my way. Adine! I can't take this any longer! I can't leave love with you! Hold me! I need! Hold me! <laughs> this is in the department of, well, that was awkward. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> uh, Undine, I was just... Hey. Whoa. Wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? <laughs> this is called the player is obviously supposed to be too tough on on uh, on poor Alphys here by not saying the obvious you're cute thing, but saying just what is it. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes? I mean, uh, no? I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you? <laughs> what? I mean... I mean, 
Undine, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like really, I just wanted to use it as ice cream, those human history books I was reading, those are just dorky comic books, and the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. Uh, they aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt, that I, I, man, that is hard to keep up with. Alphys, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Nadine, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys? Nice dunk. <laughs> Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just pretty crap. What I like about you is your passion. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want you to become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. That's crazy. Nadine, you... You're gonna train me? What? Me? Dun dun dun! Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken! Yeah, I don't know if I did that quite right. Get those bones shaken! Yeah, that sounds better. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undine! Worried eyeballs from inside a trash can with obvious tail and feet hanging out. <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons. Those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? How to defuse a panicking Unde Undine. Just go with it. Ah, I knew it. Gigantic swords. Magical princesses. Here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for... Her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. And suddenly I'm back at this uh, poofy field of flowers with the uh, junkyard because obviously we just visited the junkyard. Uh, seriously, what a weird spot to go out on a date. I'm wondering. Nope, no more astronaut food. Green. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me! This is Papyrus. You're also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. Feel strongly, and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. So many great things come from there. The only reason we have modern technology is because of all the human junk that flows from the surface. Plus, it's a great place to meet girls. Um. Uh, yeah, that quote has not changed from before. Okay, so that 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 summarizes that part. So I'll be ending this segment as I go off to the uh, true lab in a moment, because I'll have to go under. The obvious lab to get to the true lab. So, zippity doo dah. It's kind of funny how you always go in one direction, yet you always get everywhere. It's got to be like a circular river or something. Oh, la, the waters are wild today. That's bad luck. You have no idea.
Note that that one wasn't particularly splashy compared to normal. That one was actually rather appropriate about it being calm. Okay, so that part's done, and the next thing to do is to pop in here and go true lab mode. For now, I'll uh, head off here and uh, catch up with uh, everybody afterwards as I go into the true lab, which is the next segment. So, again, this has uh, been Glitch Reaper. Uh, I'll be uh, signing off for now, so hope to hear from you all later, and bye for now, everybody.